<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. All right, so last time I ended up kind of floundering around towards the end of the uh, excuse me. Uh, towards the end of what was going on with Amity Vale and their whole uh, quest line because of that law because of the one with the really big HP dump for monsters here Artix you can come with us um, anyway the uh, oh Oh, look at that. He scaled to me this time. That's bizarre. Anyway, if we just keep going over here to the right, I think if we go this way, uh, we will find a location that gives us a little bit of closure on the area. Why would I want to help you? You tried to kill me a little while ago. I don't remember this. Maybe the situation has changed slightly since then, but never mind that. If you want to save Amity Vale and your little friend Thursday, then you will have to help me. I don't need your kind of help. I can find my own way. No, you can't. The fog won't let you pass. But if you do as I ask, I will force the fog to let you go safely through the castle. Fine, just tell me what you want. A simple favor for a rogue of your power. A number of rare werewolves in the doom would have gotten lost in the fog. Stupid creatures that they are, they can't find their way out. They are attacking any who run across them. I would just allow them to starve, but time is of the essence. Go into the fog exactly where I tell you and destroy, and destroy one of the miserable beasts. Alright. Oh, he has more... He has more moves. This is interesting. I wonder why this... happened this time. Later on in the more current version of the game, he has different moves, but he still only has like two. Alright, so we take out this werewolf. Alright. And the necromantress reaches or lets the fog go. Or lifts the fog to some extent. Uh, that's weird. The combo, it has to cool down through. It doesn't reset. That's bizarre. I'm not sure if I like that, to be honest. Oh, that was pretty solid, though. I appreciate that. Uh, slash. Same attack, just uh, it's a little less hard, it seems. Looks like that combo is the only one that uh, matters. Uh, Light of Justice seems like a less hard hitting one of the other move I just did. The Guardian book seems to have been replaced with a family history book. Guardian Ghoul. 
That's some pretty cool armor, I'm not gonna lie. Seems like he's just hitting harder in general. That's pretty cool. Um. I don't think I'm in any danger of running out of mana before I get to the end of this quest. As soon as I get through here, all I gotta do is go off to the side here. And then, bam. Ow. Oh, I just remembered another quest we need to do before we can, uh, um, go and do the Dark Orb quest. Fine, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Ah, welcome, welcome. It has been a long road, hero. I am certain that you have many questions. I will answer all that you ask. Who are you? Who are you exactly? I am Lord Friday the 13th. Of course, well, I don't know why I had to hesitate there. The Vampire Lord who has lived here in Doomwood for as long as there has been an Amity Vale. All the children of darkness that live here in Doomwood are my servants, even the mangy werewolves. <sighs> Sorry about that. Thursday? What about Thursday? What part does she play in all of this? Ah, Thursday, she is my granddaughter granddaughter. Technically she is my great great okay that's a lot of greats we get the point. I was once human like you I was also a father when I became the being that you see before you. I have cared for my family for generations and protected my bloodline for hundreds of years. I have always known that none of these peasants deserve the gift of immortality. It is an honor that I have been waiting to give one of my own children. Now finally, now finally, Thursday was born, and as I watched her grow, I understood that I have finally found the one I have waited for. She will become a vampire like me, I will stay and rule from here, and she will head into the world, covering it with our darkness. It doesn't seem like something she would do. Together we will find others who deserve the gift. Our kind will rule the world, and I will be lord of all vampires. But why now? She has lived her, she has lived here for her entire life. Oh, she is a teenager now. We've done studies that show that vampires are very popular with the uh, twelve to eighteen crowd. Ah, uh, two thousand and six. That was, it was a little bit before the Twilight craze hit. I think. What? I've been waiting for centuries to keep the business in our family. She is a fresh new face that young people can identify with. Oh, that's definitely where that was going. She will make the perfect spokes vampire for our way of life. Lon and Chaney. What about Chaney and his brother Lon? Where do they fit into this? Ah, yes, the brothers who live out in Lake uh, Crystal Clear Lake. Both brothers were born in Amity Vale. Chaney is always at a sharp line, a little too sharp for my liking. He was following a trail that was centuries old and getting dangerously close to discovering that I have been here in the shadows. He had just stumbled upon on an old family portrait which would have linked me to Thursday, then I had an idea. As it turned out, Thursday had started growing a small flower garden on an island in that lake, which can be a dangerous place. As she needed a bodyguard, and Chaney needed a new distraction for his keen mind to keep him off my trail, 
So I changed his brother Lon into my granddaughter's new protector and Chaney's new research product project. Sorry. Trying to find a cure for Lon takes up all of Chaney's time. He's clever, but by the time he cures the curse, well, there will be no further need to hide my presence at that point. Guardian Tower? Isn't... this isn't a Guardian Tower, is it? It is. The Guardians of Amity Vale were once a great thorn in my side. Then one day, the tower came under attack. The attacking force was only concerned with what was in the basement, and, not, and the Guardians could not withstand their might. During the battle, I took the remainder of the Guardians and made them into my ghouls. The attackers paid me no mind, and when they left, they had taken the... Never mind, I'm sorry. I was getting lost in fond memories. Let us continue. What about the necromantress who let me through the fog? Ah, yes, her. I must admit, she had fooled me. Had me fooled. I was certain she was my faithful servant. But she serves another... I should have made her the offer that I'm about to make you. You have come further than any have in centuries. I have tried to stop you at every turn, and yet you have foiled me again and again. You are an impressive rogue. I am offering you the gift of unending life. You Would, would you like to become a vampire? <laughs> Let's see what saying yes does. You accept Lord Friday the 13th's offer, and he changes you into one of the undead, but he considers you far too much of a threat to be allowed to keep your free will, so he changes you into one of his mindless, vampiric ghouls. You're not really aware of what's going on around you, but you take part in the destruction of Amity Vale. You, brainless, you watch brainlessly drooling a little bit as Thursday is tra transformed into a true vampire, and you assist Lord Friday the 13th's plans of smothering the world in a blanket of darkness. Due to your power, you become, quickly become one of the most famous ghouls in Lord Friday's army, army of the undead slaves. And you also become the vampire lord's favorite pet. Good for you. Here's your second chance to try again. That's hilarious. Never. The perks sound nice, but I don't think it's worth the price. It's like going to the beach during the day. Very well, or I like going to whatever. Very well, I will not make that offer twice. If I cannot have you working for me, then I must destroy you. Extreme mode is blatantly impossible and purely for bragging rights on the forums. It's funny. Oh, this won't be too bad. Uh, hit him with that one. Yeah. Good show, Artix. Lord Friday has fallen, but escaped at the last second in the form of a rat. <laughs> mm, he didn't turn into a bat? That's funny. He ruined his dark plans for overrunning the world with vampiric slaves, and you thir saved Thursday and the world. Awesome. That's cool. Go ahead, healing potions. Uh, alright. So, we're gonna do the darkness orb, but first there's another thing that we have to undo the salt. Uh, I forgot. I'm pretty sure the reason I forgot was because you like specifically get avail this quest available to you when you hit level 10. Anyway, um, Dracolich, follow me. Something really bad is happening. I have butterflies in my stomach. I have a really bad feeling about this. What was it you wanted to show me, Ash? Twillies is curious, too. <laughs> Just wait a second, guys. It should be here any minute now. There, it's coming over the mountain now. See, this is a important establishing moment because that's Sepulchre's fortress on top of that giant on Jack Dragon. I was hoping you could tell me. I saw it for the first time yesterday, but it's been circling the countryside for several days. 
Reports were coming to Falcon Reach about a giant undead dragon with a castle on its back, but I had to see it for myself. It was spotted flying south with that castle on its back a few days ago. People are saying it's that it attacked the Temple of the Four Winds. No one seems to know anything about it. No, Twilly knows. Only stories, rumors, and legends, but some of them must be true. Not as one of the giant dragons, one of the ancient ones, or what is left of it. He must have had his army of necromancers animate the skeleton for his flying fortress. He who... Ah, uh, who else? Corrupt the resting bones of an ancient dragon, Sepulcher. Sepulcher has that much dark power? It's unbelievable, he's far greater than... He is far greater than I ever thought. What could he be planning? Meanwhile, inside of Sepulcher's <laughs> flying Draculich fortress... Um, return to the white box. Didn't we see this already? Priests of the four winds were no match. Grant me the power. Wait, was this supposed to happen like in between the dragon egg saga? You are very eager to embrace the darkness, Dracoth. You are a fool, Dracoth, my lord. Our agreement with both the dragon boxes, black and white. And we see the white dragon box before me. There were complications with the black dragon box. If you would simply grant me to if you would simply grant me the power, I am certain that I could. I think perhaps you are focusing too much of your energy on taking King Altion's throne. My throne, the royal seat is mine by birthright. Be silent. As I have promised, bring me both boxes and the power Bring me both boxes, and the power and the throne will be yours. Do not interrupt me or return here without the dragon boxes, or without both boxes ever again. Do not fail me for a second time, Prince Dracoth. Yes, my lord. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so I guess that was supposed to happen, admittedly. Oh yeah, they have a layout, or this wasn't available before I started doing the Metroid Let's Play, but they have a timeline now so you can like see what's going on. So Yeah. Now some of the stuff we've done is already taken uh priority here. Or if it's already happened. Such as we already did that. It's like a split there. Uh, not all of these are like straight up splits as far as... Like this feels like either or happens here, you know? Uh, stocking the shelves, I forget which one that is. Tinathera. We'll do that quest after we uh, do the black. Or do the darkness orb. Not all of it is strictly uh, super important, but... I wanted to do that one and the one that follows it mostly. Um. Oh, yeah, Ash has his own little side quest too that we can do eventually. But it looks like the Temple of the Four Winds has gone under attack. You should go there and see if anyone needs help. things. I'm not sure, but I want to say that this thing is annoying. What are its weaknesses anyway? Weak to wind? Do I have any? Oh. Whatever. Get a Meridix. Alright. Let's uh, see. Do I have any wind? We have oh. Minor bronze to dagger. Nice. We'll be shortly changing back. Oh. Do that other one. Okay, that thing's... Oh. 
That's infuriating. <laughs> well, I don't want to just not let her have one of them live. Um, I don't have any stone things that I can actually use yet, so we'll do that. Hit him with our sweet bandit blades. See, this is annoying because this thing is weak to the wind. And that's pretty helpful as far as killing it goes, but the other thing isn't. So having to swap back and forth is just a pain. I'm not going to be too discriminate about what I use, though. Excuse me. I didn't stun him all the way. I like that he hits for light damage no matter what, instead of a um, like steel damage for or metal damage for uh, his regular attack. Oh. Oh, I guess I didn't take that into account when I was testing that move out. That mo It's a multi-target attack. And I just neglected to read that before. <laughs> oh, I'm imagining that guy is also just resists wind. Oh, that thing has a lot of HP as opposed to the other ones. Not exactly an obnoxious amount like the last... Uh, how the last episode ended, but, you know, it's still a large amount. Yeah, heal me, man. Wow, that's quite a bit of attacks. Uh, 